The first weekend in December, most people are Christmas shopping, but members of the River Lark Catchment Partnership, Berry Water Meadows Group and the Wild Trout Trust have been doing vital conservation work on the River Lark. Robert Mungoven from the Wild Trout Trust explains. So we're here on the River Lark. We're working with the residents who live here at Bell Meadows at Bury St Edmunds. Initially we're working at the rear of their gardens and we're hoping that this may act as a catalyst to kick off more works here on the downstream side of Bury St Edmunds. The main objective that we're trying to achieve, you can see behind us, we've been reshaping the river. The river lark here is very rich in gravel, but it had no definition to its channel form. It was more or less a long gravelly glide that didn't hold any deeper areas for the trout to other fish to live in. So we've spent the morning here gravel jetting and raking material around to form these small riffles, which you can see flickering in the sunlight there, and new gravel bars and deeper pools. The pools will retain a depth of water through the summertime, so hopefully fish that come up here may be managed to spawn. Their offspring, juvenile fish, will find small little pockets of water which they'll be able to spend the summer living in. And we've also been thinning out the trees on the bank, which is really important to let light into this channel. It was quite dark before and we didn't have much marginal vegetation. Marginal vegetation is really important for holding the banks together. You can see in places they're quite bare. This one to my right is actually going to be exposed for a kingfisher nest site. But we need that growth at the water's edge, which is really important for small fish to find cover in, for invertebrates to live in, and then small mammals. Who knows, we may even have the water voles move back into this part of River Lark. So this work that we've done this morning has been really effective. In three hours, we've managed to reshape the river for the benefit of its occupants. And also, once we pin down this brushwood at a lower level, it won't hinder those flood flows that need to move through here.